Welcome to our floss tube, The Sable Stitchers. I'm Roberta. I'm Lenny. And if you're new here, welcome. Sable is an acronym for Stash Accumulated Beyond Life Expectancy. And so we are happy you're here again. Um, we appreciate going through your comments and reading them and just getting Question to know you into this video that we'd love to hear your answers to. So um, today is November 6th. 13th and this is floss tube number 16. Yay! Yay. And you can sweet we're sweet sweet 16 yes. this time. <laughs> oh that's right. <laughs> Definitely. And so you can find me on Instagram at Roberta Lyle. And I'm uh, L Eisenberg for so, Lenny. Yeah and so what have you been up to? Well I was just gonna talk uh, real fast that we got to travel all around the world Oh, you we, did? Yeah. That yeah was well, <laughs> and in just two weeks, but I loved answering all the questions and the and the places that you wanted to oh, take yeah. us and visit. And we had um, notes from the UK and uh, Zambia, and, wow, Norway, Scotland, and we went from the east coast to the west coast and north to south. So thank you so much for opening up your home and letting us visit virtually with you guys i know there's a lot of places out there and a lot of places that we would like to go and my husband's kindly reminded me that i had gone to more than six states so um i guess he thought he took me more places than i, oh. said, than I said he did but oh. anyway uh but it was a lot so much it fun to visit fun all to the places that you would take us and see all the your suggestions hospital. And your hospitality was amazing, so that was fun. Oh, we're good. So, so um, house is done. Boys football season's over. Mason's team lost. I mean, they had been undefeated all year. They finally lost, so uh, they're done. No, oh. but that's okay. He had hurt his shoulder, so he's done too. Um, well, we got got really cold here too. So uh, it's it'll very be cold, cold to sit out in the football stands. So, yeah, we're. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> so I've really been stitching and, and that's about it. I hadn't really done too much this this week, but kind of hunker down in the house and wrap up in a blanket and turn on floss tube and, and sew. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. We've been, yeah, I don't know if other people who are working have this experience, but my work's gotten a lot busier. You know, I think you kind of forget with, you know, a year, year and a half plus of COVID how what the what the usual pace of things are but you know when you don't have as many meetings or you aren't out in the community doing things but mine has definitely picked up with a lot of those kinds of obligations and so I've been hopping at work and then this past weekend um, my friend Leslie and I went to um, some primitive antique shows in Amish country Illinois mm -hmm. they're held there's like three or two or three in each town of Arthur Arcola and Tuscola, Illinois, and we like we've been going every year for about fifteen years. I mean, fifteen wow. years, maybe twelve years, something like that. It's That's been fun a long to look forward time. to, and it is. And just just if you like primitive antiques, there's just a great variety. There's dealers from all over the country, and people come from all over the country to attend. And so, so that was a lot of fun. I just got back from that last night, and um, are you gonna show us what you bought? Yeah, it's just good. Yeah, I have, have a new sampler to add to my collection, and I will share that. But um, oh, I just wanted to mention that you know, on our last video, I was really tired. <laughs> And, well, you know, you've been playing all weekend. Well, and you kept saying, there were several times you said, because, like I said, we filmed like 20 minutes after I got walked in the door from, you know, the, the retreat in Amana, and you had said, are you sure you want to film? You're going to be tired. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'll be fine. And I was so tired. And she hit the wall. <laughs> yeah. I fell asleep on the sofa at like 7, 8, 7 p.m. that night and, you know, and then woke up and got a second wind and went for a while more. But yeah. I, I knew was you really were tired. tired I knew you were. Yeah. Um. So yeah. And then I guess, you know, we had Halloween since then. Did you, and did you, you didn't have very we many. We didn't have, have any. We had like 90 mm, trick-or-treaters. And I make little bags for them because um, Mr. Sable is very generous and he gives out handfuls of candy anyway. <laughs> so I just make these little bags, you know, so that everyone's getting the same amount, whether, you know, sometimes he'll let the kids choose and some will just pick one. So everyone's getting the same amount. But even then, towards the end of the night, he's like, 
give them two bags, you know, <laughs> give them the rest of the bags. And so, but we stretched it out to 90 and then turned off the light a little after eight, I think. So it was a, well, it was a good time. I think a lot of kids went trunk or treating, you know, we yeah. have quite a few churches around our main street. And so I think a lot of kids went trunk or treating, which is, it's fun for them. And yeah. our, our neighborhoods are, or the houses, there's a lot, a lot of space in between the houses, and I don't think little kids want to walk that far. Yeah. But our kids went out in the golf cart, and they had, <laughs> they had a lot of fun. That helps so. us if you have a big bag of candy and not yeah. have to carry it. So, so our but book days. of days. I haven't shared mine for a while, but I had. Let's see, I was pretty good about October tracking everything and and stickering it up. There. And then one thing I did recently, I went through and caught up, and I have, I added oh. pages to my book, and I put um, plastic on the front to kind of protect the cover, but I added pages for finishes, and so I like to have my finishes in one place and then have little pictures of them, and so it makes me feel like, oh, I got more done than I thought I'd I like did. to be able to see them so, like that. Those were my finishes so far this year, and then I also added a page for retreats, and I put a few pictures from the retreats that I've attended this year and what the retreats were. Roberta, what a good idea. So that was fun. And then I my goal was to do 22 designers in 2023, and so I did complete that goal. Um, and there's, you know, more designers that I could add. There's just so, you don't realize till you see a list like this how many great designers there no, are. No, or how many times you... How many people have things that, that you know, are appealing to whatever your aesthetics I are. Right. So... Because I, I purchased some from Etsy mm -hmm. this past couple of weeks that I had never even... You never always even have heard. one. You always have new ones I've never heard of, and they're always cute. So, here is my October... So it's all stickered up, and I had, I'm not very fancy, starts, finishes. Um, I think that's a good idea. But You're uh, very organized to keep And I do going. write in it every day. So whether, and I, I have not, how long have I been stitching now? About two and a half years, mm -hmm. I guess I've been back, and I have not skipped a day. Well, one day because my hand was hurt. But That is I, amazing. And that was all I could give up, so I did it anyway. But... Anyway, so I'm ready for November. Not not really, but stickered up. And I got some new stickers for December, so I couldn't help it. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got December, too. Oh, they're cute. So now now I just got to do something. Okay. Uh, anything else to I think so. start I think up with? I think like updates. Uh, so, okay. So I think we're on to whips. Okay. Uh, well, I got some finishes. Oh, oh yeah, finishes. Okay. I about those. Uh, I finished... Three little, two little smalls and a little, uh, so I, that Santa I showed you last, there's, this was a freebie from Homespun when I had placed my order, so this came in there. So I got it, and it kind of jingles. Yeah, I so, like him a lot. And then I closed him in the back with a little He's very charm. cute. So that was one guy, and this one was from JBW. Beautiful. So... And this was the thread that I purchased at the antique store. And it was on this big spool. It looked beautiful. I, I think it was a three-ply, so it's probably a pearl of some sort. But, oh, my gosh, I, you probably can't see it through here. But that green. It's look very, at, it's, it's very just, deep green. It's just such a deep and shiny green. So I'm going to do um, Judy's in in the screen i just think it's beautiful mm -hmm. so i finished that and i didn't forgot to put a little charm on the back of that and i finished my teresa kogut's give thanks so, awesome. so i wasn't too sure what to do with it i had a number of ideas and i wound up putting um it in this wreath but it really isn't a wreath it's actually a candle holder you, know, you stick your candle in the middle of it so Hobby Lobby, idea. Hobby Lobby had a, their fall for 75% mm. off. So I think I got it for $3, something like that. But it turned out, my husband always says you need to lift up the ribbon. But uh, I think it turned out beautiful. I think so. That so, was really great. So that was my one turkey I got fully finished. Here's the pattern. 
So, um, do you get notifications on your phone when Hobby Lobby? Did, how did you know about that sale? Um, well, I do. I, I do sign up to Hobby Lobby, so mm. whatever their weekly ad is, and I didn't know that their fall stuff was seventy five percent off because they have all their Christmas. I already bought a new Christmas tree. Oh. <laughs> it's just a little one. But because uh, I knew that they had their Christmas trees. I think they were 50 or maybe even 60. I don't know. But yeah. uh, I went in Thursday morning before we left. And um, and it was it was really it was really busy. And mm -hmm. there was something I was looking for. I was looking for napkins for the luncheon we have tomorrow. But then I was also looking for some other things. And... And it was packed. The aisles were just packed. It, well, so I was like, and there was, and I had bought one of these things when it was half price, and so I wanted to get more, and they were now seventy five percent off. And so I texted Leslie that um, I was running a little late because I was in line at Hobby Lobby, and she said, "Oh yeah, I got the notice today that they have seventy five percent off." So I felt really fortunate. I'm going to have to sign up for that because I just happened to be in yep. at the right time. But be prepared to be in line for a little bit, just like everybody else. Yeah. Staffing's a little down and so just be patient. It's worth <laughs> it. It's worth the the good price. Yeah, they did a good so. job. It's just everyone was buying so much. So So then I had one more finish. This is a previous finish. Uh, actually I have two previous finishes, but just to kinda I make I made this for my grandsons. My little ones, and it was their advent. That's really cute. Little advent quilt, and the my daughter would put little things in the first pocket and the second pocket. You know, maybe you know, play a game or watch a Christmas show or had a little piece of candy or an activity or something like that. So, I just okay. I did follow a pattern, and I and I know I still have it, but I couldn't find it to. To bring it but anyway so and do you use the, the fusible interfacing I did the fuse on yep. okay so Very and some nice. of the presents some of the little gifts were a little big so I had to go back in and tuck in because <laughs> they kids would pull pull the presents out of the oh, pockets yeah but, uh, that's I just took it out of my stash and it was really fun to make so that was one of my previous finishes and I know I've shown this to you before, but I won't see you uh, the first of December. So it was my advent, my advent calendar that I put on the door. So I love advent calendars, and I always try to do one a year. I haven't started one this year, so this may be the year I don't do one. But uh, I think this was. Um, Little house, I was gonna say little house or, or country cottage. Yeah, that's what it's, I was it's, it's say. one or the other, and I have the pattern too, but I couldn't find it. So and this just was a door I got from uh, Hobby Lobby, and it had this wreath was in the window, and I took the wreath out of the window and put it on the bottom of the door, and then put the project up in front. So those are my finishes. I'm trying to keep track of this so that I could just. <laughs> like to put that in the show notes who what designs we show as as finishes so I have a previous finish too and Oops. I don't have this organized really well but um, it's the Brenda Gervais that came out last year and it's called Love Sugar it. and Spice and it came as a kit so it included the little tray and all the little woolly pieces and um, if this is something you are doing, you know, I think for the pattern for the tray, they showed like with scrap paper on the bottom. I just took an old Christmas card and decoupaged it on because, That's you know, you idea. always have pretty Christmas cards that you hate to, you know, throw away at the end of the season or whatever. And I usually save some. And so I had one that was just a perfect fit and not necessarily. Where did you get your little? Whoa. That was part of the kit. That was just there? Okay. So, yeah. So that was... That's something I'm looking okay. forward to setting out this year. And then this is a partial finish. I had talked about doing the woolly trees from the pattern that we got um, when we were at Amana at the Woolen Needle. And I finished, I pretty much finished what? my little white one this morning. I might respace it. I don't know, maybe. I see. It just has a long base right now. So You going to add more to it? I have I have more wool, so I don't know why I have so much extra or cut wool. Or cut some of the bottom. 
yeah, I could do that. I don't know. I don't, you know, um, I didn't, I don't, just bought the one kit because I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy doing it. And right from the beginning, it's, it's, you know, it, it's time consuming because you have, you cut your strips of wool and then you cut them like a quarter inch apart and you just, you know, make like a fringe and then you wrap it around. You start at the end. Oh, so you're not. And you just put a little glue on the floral wire and wrap it around. Oh. And so it's just very time consuming You because, and I used, I have good Dovo, seeds, good, good Dovo scissors that I used for cutting the fringe, but still it was, you know. I could see that. It was, I would... It says cut them all, make your branches all at once and glue them and let them sit. But I would, you know, do one and, and you know, wire it on and, your, you know, floral tape it on and then do the next one and floral tape it on and do a little more clipping because that really kind of got to my hands, even with good Gosh, I guess I never really thought about how so, to make it, but... So I enjoyed that one so much. I went ahead before I was even done So I, um, and bought the kit to do oh, the with bigger them. green one and... You know, you can buy the base too. I thought the base was included because I could feel something solid in there, but that was actually the floral tape. So when I was on my trip, we went in the, one of the towns we go through. It's not Macon. It's someplace in Illinois. has a has a Ben Franklin store downtown, and so they had these little like pieces of cut log for three ninety nine, and so my husband's going to cut this in half mm -hmm. so I have two tree bases out of that so and drill that a hole a, in the top and then just drill a little hole in the top and you it's know so cute. Carol um, from Saltbox Stitcher said she was going to make three and she was going to make the third one in red and I like the idea of three having things in three mm -hmm. and um, what I thought though you know you got the white you got the green I would make another one in either Probably a light green, mm -hmm. you know, and then because I like the idea, of maybe three is a centerpiece on the table, but or do yeah yeah I, I like it I like that kind of green be, yeah so anyway oh that's, that's really pretty I like that it was fun it yeah. was really fun I, to do I bought the pattern I but really enjoyed it I didn't haven't opened it up yet yeah I thought it was fun I just didn't know if I'd enjoy it that's why I didn't buy another one but I really <laughs> just like I don't know I like it, it was pretty fun. <laughs> Well, I think those are my only two finishes for this past couple of okay. weeks. I have I got some, close, whoops. some more that I'm kind of kind of closing in on, but yeah. So do you? Yeah. I have some whips. Well, let's do whips, shall we? Okay, here we go. Whale. I always like that whale. Uh, I've got a couple of little ones. Um, I, I can't show the pattern, but Sherry um, Colorado Stitcher has a freebie on her channel and it's called thankful this is all that I've got done on him but uh, you can go to her website and go to patterns and then I think it's, it's free patterns and then she's got somebody he was really cute so I'm gonna try to finish him before Thanksgiving so is that on 32 count uh, 25 okay and I just grab I just, I have so much little pieces of fabric that I just try to use what I've got. Are you using one or two on that? I'm using two. Two, okay. Two over it's good two. good color. So, and this is on a 25 also, and you really can't see what this is, so I will show you. <laughs> I was very fortunate. I got uh, a decade of Prairie Schooler Santas from 1984 through 1985. And I had some of the older ones, 2016 and up, but I don't have, I, so that whole 2000, I don't, you know, late 90s, 2000s. So I started him, and <laughs> not much, but, you know, they always look so simple, and it's like, gosh, that's a lot of stitching in there. So I, I've got him going. So I should have him done, and hopefully some more. He's cute. I think I remember this one. And I look at the price. <laughs> 50 cents. Schroeder's the Creative Corner. That sounds familiar. Creative Craft Center. I, I don't know, but they all, one of them, I mean, got up to $1.50 oh. the later years. So, wow. but all of the early ones were 50 cents. Wow. I did not pay 50 cents for them. Okay. I feel like I have to sneeze. So, 
We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, did you get these on the secondary market? I did get them on oh, the second. Okay. I got them on eBay. But okay. but for ten or eleven, I paid twenty some odd dollars. So I think that okay. was you know That's wasn't good. fifty cents, but I think it was a pretty good price. Yeah, and it's on the good card stock. Right. Let's see. And then I don't know what I did with my pattern on this one. Artful uh, offerings. Uh, so artful offerings. This is on a 28 count Lugana Legacy. Oh, he's so pretty. He so, is. So I've got just a little bit more to do on the top row. I do need to do the bottom row and the snowflakes. I have it on the table here someplace. I'll try to find it. But um, it was Winter, Winter Tide Cardinal, I think is what it was called. So I'll look for that because I know I have it. Maybe it's that is really pretty. Is that and you said that's a call for colors? Uh, here it is. Because he's kind of a cherry red. That's really well. Pretty. No, I I didn't have the color that started, so I did. Um, no, I think your choice uh, is really good. Oh, let me think. Let me think. Oh, it, it's not coming to me. Uh, I know I use Bayberry for the green. Mm. Uh, I think it was geranium. Okay. Or thirty three twenty eight. Okay. So anyway, but that's the way that he will look when he's done, and I think he's beautiful. He is, and I'm so excited. So okay, sir, dancer, he is almost done. Almost done. He is <gasps> such a handsome guy. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. So there's my dancer. You have been working really hard on that one. So oh, look at the little oh, houses. That is so the houses so go cute. over his antlers. And then he's got, I got the page marked, marked. in there, 47. And then uh, he's got some floral kind of around the bottom. So there's a little lantern and the keys. And the lantern and the keys. So oh, his face, when I got his face done, so that's what he'll look like. You were very closing in there. I know, and I was so excited. I just can't. I can't put it down. I mean, I I worked on it too late. I know you were looking night. forward to starting him. So, so. I started him uh, November the first. So I've got a lot done. So I wasn't too sure about the eighteen twenty three. I I just uh, you know I didn't know what or mm -hmm. that the, the what the eighteen because I thought oh I'll put twenty twenty two in there you know for the year that I did it but. We did some research at Stitch Club, and 1823 is when they did the Night, Night Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so now it's like, oh, that makes sense. So, And then I got the cutest little needle minder. Look at the eyes that reminded me, even though it's kind of feminine. But I got that from Gina's Unique Needle Minders. That's so, so cute. Oh, okay. so that's what I have been really working hard on these last two weeks. I have a lot of whips that I pulled out that I'm going to work on, but my goal is to get Dancer done, and then I can go do something else. Oh, you're just okay. magnetic. You're just stuck there. <laughs> so. so, okay. Um, I don't have a whole lot of whips. The thing I've been working on, trying, I want to finish this in 2023, is Caroline Amelia Trowell. And so I almost have the border done. I started doing the wording there. I think I started that before the last one, but worked on that a little bit on my trip um, in the evenings. So um, hoping to, I want to get at least the words done. There's words here. That's a lot. There's her name. She has a cartouche with her name. And then over here is a really large bird. So I'm hoping to get the wording done and maybe her name and then just have the bird left to do in December and I should be able to finish that yet this year and then this is a piece and that's a Brenda Gervais oh, I love that bag it's a, um, this one's from Hummingbird Hollow she has very oh, nice very pretty. fabrics and then she also um, this bag included a thread book a coordinating mm. little thread book little thread that, bed. that you know snaps has a little place. Oh, in that's there for nice your scissors. One. So yeah, that's very well made. I do have some thread in here. 
it's not where it should be, but it is in here. So, so, um, so this is Jane Baxter, and I started this, I believe, in March of this year, and just got a very, very tiny start in it. I think I started like three things in three days in March. So that's the pattern. And I like that red house. I, the red house, and it has like a turkey. Is that what that is? A turkey? It has a turkey, and I think it also has a. Um, I think. I think. I think. I don't know. Either that's. I think this is definitely a turkey on this side. These others might be peacocks, but I. I am using the country sampler conversion, and I thought I would get some of the motifs done, but I. This is all I've gotten done so far. So, working on the oh, border. Oh, that's a pretty border. I love Ooh, the border. Oh, that's a pretty border. It's been so much fun to stitch on. I love stitching on this. This is on 36 count Stars Hollow Blend. Um, and like I said, this is the Country Sampler Conversion. So, it's going to look a little different than, than the picture. Oh, I love I'm not quite colors. sure how, but yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what the differences are. It's so funny how you throw a color in there that I you know. don't think that you'd like, but um, yeah. boy, you just I you think just, that might be the one of those peacocks has an eggplant in it. That's so be gorgeous. Yes, I'm enjoying doing that one, and then I'm participating in a couple of ornament exchanges. So I was going to be all organized and get started on that and. You know, get one of them done in November, and it didn't quite go the way I was hoping. So, you know, I wasn't going to show this, but I thought, you know, I, I think this I learned something from this. Um, and so I wanted to share that. Um, I'm a member of Teresa Kogut's, Kogut's Patreon, one of the Patreon um, levels. And so this was a um, exclusive for Patreons this month. And I love that. Oh, you know, we we and our bird, we love our birds. We love whether it's cardinals or turkeys or you owls. Know, owls. <laughs> well, I love doves too. And doves. so I just love that pattern. So I downloaded it, pulled the floss. I think I, I had the floss. Well, DMC. I guess I had to get a few of the flosses. Got the flosses for it. And then I have some black. I don't know what you would call it. It's not, I don't think it's linen, but it's um, like 32 count. And I just didn't want to do it on that because it would be really big for an ornament. So I have 36 count night sky. Which is a beautiful fabric. Yes. And I thought I bet it would look pretty on that. Well, not so much. <laughs> it, you know, I worked on it for three days. And then, um, and this is one over two on 36 count. I just was not, and this is kind of, um, I would almost say purpley undertones. And I don't think the purple goes with the red in this very well. The white looks kind of muddy. I wasn't able to see, um, the dove has like a checkerboard pattern in it and a snowflake pattern. It wasn't showing up. So I, kind of decided instead of just keeping on and hoping I was going to like it, I'm, I'm going to abandon it and go back and try to find the, get you know, get some black that I can stitch on. Cause this, even would though, you keep the colors or would you try something different? Um, I might try something different. If I do it, if I do two strands of floss, I might have the contrast that I'm, that I'd like to see. But with one strand, I just, I'm not seeing enough. I didn't see enough contrast. So I was going to have to, you know, mess Maybe around it's with the dark. colors a little bit. That yeah, I don't know, I don't but know. I just don't care for it on this linen. And you know, I was kind of disappointed. I felt like I spun my wheels for three days working on this, and now I'm just going to have to scrap it. But I watched a it was a um, floss tube interview with Kathy Andrews, and she was talking about the artistic process and how. You know, people who do paintings or do artwork like something like that, you know, you, they only end up selling a fraction of what they create. Mm -hmm. You know, they might create several paintings and, and they aren't, you know, market worthy or whatever or something they can sell to the public. But they don't consider that a loss. That's part of the process. That's part of the learning process. And so even when you make a mistake like this, you know, um, I feel like I did learn something yeah. from it, and so it's. I'm trying. That red does not go with that color. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, 
No. And I just think it's more, is yeah, because it's more of like an orangey red and it just doesn't go with the purpley background. So definitely something, some, a good takeaway from that. And, you know. But you know, the, I love the pattern though. And it's, I still and love it, the pattern. And it's what you like. I mean, and it might, might look great. Well, I'm sure it would because it's a beautiful pattern, but just on different kinds of material. So mm -hmm. sometimes you just got to play around with it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. So <laughs> um, that was but, my takeaway from that. Anyway, uh, I've got, well, I wouldn't know if I would call them whips because I haven't worked on them, but they're definitely plans. I so, have some plans too. So you got some plans too? We always have plans. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what would we not have plans? So I brought out some of my. Whoops. I brought out some of it. Maybe I've shown some of these when we did July. Um, Christmas and July. Christmas so. and July. Yeah. When, when, when we had a July. That was like two weeks ago. But it, it's just stuff oh that I have goodness. seen that, that I haven't seen in a while. So um, I know this is very difficult to see. I'll move it up. Um, it's made by um, Folkies. It's Santa and Mrs. Claus Folkies. Um, because we went to Europe on our honeymoon, we kind of have a soft spot in our hearts for Dutch. Um, so, again, I started this quite a few years ago. In fact, quite a few, a couple years ago. So, that's all I've got done. So, is that fabric flare, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I brought that back out. I thought, well, that would be fun to work on, and I haven't seen it in a while. So that was. That looks. That has very folklore kind of colors. I That's think. Very uh, fun. I think that it's so bright and colorful that I'm looking forward to putting some more stitches in there. So would you? So how do you have any ideas how you'd finish that? A frame. I think I'd like to frame it, uh, either myself or probably I would try. I would try to frame it. So, and I think you guys have seen this one too, uh, the Nutcracker Tree. So I'm going to bring that one back out. Oh, I could bring out my whole cabinet actually. So I got some some done in it. Also, again, I don't. Not too much more than what you saw, <gasps> wow. but that's a pretty. That's pretty big, and of course I got so excited. I thought, oh, this is going to be good because I'm almost going to be done, and no, I'm not even close to being done. <laughs> but and boy, that one barely fit, but it fit. So just bringing out some fun stuff that. And you're doing that, that's on, is that on Fabric Flare too? It's Fabric Flare also, uh, 14 and they count. show, the one they show is Snow on Aqua. So and this so one was a, that one's more this was a, not, this was not called for because it doesn't have the snowflakes on it, but I, I picked one that I well, had that I'd was say that's more of a gray green kind of than a yeah. aqua, but it looks great on that. I will say though that sewing on, um, Dancer. Well, everything's turning up. It shows up really well. It shows up. a little up. horse and everything. So, very nice. Uh, but sewing on a dancer, what is this? Um, a splash? I think I can't think of the name of the fabric, but this was a call for fabric. But when you get down to those little splashes of snow, it plays games with your eyes. Oh, does At least it? mine. So, um, I like it. I really like it, and I did. I did buy some more for a different project, but because I, I really like the way it turns out. It looks but, great. Anyway, so looks like I'm wearing the same sweater as Dancer. We both have <laughs> got that little turtle. You do. Looky there. <laughs> I coordinate <laughs> with the deer. <laughs> uh, and then. I'm into Prairie Schooler, and I want to do. I want to do mini Santas, and I'm going to try to work on. Air. You know what, guys? I have so many cute stuff, and I love it all. I mean, you hear people say, "I love it, I love it, I love it, I love mm -hmm. it, I love it." So, 
Oh, and no. it doesn't bother me if I have a whole lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to have a whole lot of stuff going on because I want to and I can. And <laughs> I'm grown up. <laughs> and nobody no tells, one's your and no one tells me that I can't do it. So I'm going to have many, many, many whips coming up in 2023. So anyway, but I am going to do preschool. I have a lot of preschoolers I want to do. Now, was this a recent release? Because this is, or is yes, this, yeah, because it's just a piece of paper. Okay, but is this several years worth? I saw one of these online, and I was thinking, about, <laughs> well, these say all nineteen. These are all about nineteen eighty eight. Oh, it can't. They can't all be nineteen eighty eight. Huh. Let's see. I don't know. It says I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they are. Uh, Huh. But I I like them. They're not as big as the the cards. Well, at least I don't think they are. Does it have? What's the count? These are seventy five by fifty seven. Fifty four by forty five. Okay, so they're about a third smaller than what okay. the what the cards are. Those are cute. I like the colors. Ginger and I were chatting over the phone, and we were both kind of into prairie schoolers and she found yeah. one that had so many colors of coats on them and yeah uh i think that's what kind of interested me in that one, one. The, little, the little chimney how cute is that and then the and yellow coats i did do the the points yeah i remember and I, I don't have that. it finished yet okay i mean it's finished but not f o uh this is something that i did i know i didn't show you this was on um tiger lily's Flossmas last year. She had taken different names from Etsy and trying to bring forward some designers that maybe some of us aren't familiar with. And so I bought this one. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm getting cold. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see if I can find... Doesn't have well, a little cool in here too for some reason. We okay, heat on. Spooky and Steve and Milk and North Pole Milk and Cookie Company. I just thought it was different, and so I bought. I've never heard of that before. I know, and I think that's great. It's like let let some names out from other people that because that's great graphics i know and they Definitely. do a lot of things like this i really like oh, it wow. it's a lot of stitching of course it's <laughs> it's a big piece of fabric well, it's 174 too. by 81 so that is pretty so i did it on the um oh that looks great. the wood panel kind of the wood barn but oh. so anyway i'm going to bring it back out i just think that's really cute very nice. So that was something that was, again, going, I don't know if we're going to do a whip parade, but uh, it's just so much fun to go through things that, oh, I was like, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, and just a really cookie. I showed this, that was the uh, Liz Matthews uh, freebie Merry Christmas. So you, I think you can still get that on her website. I want to work on that also. Oh yeah, that one. Okay, yeah, that's really cute. All right, those are all I. Those are all my whips. These are now my plans. Okay. Um, I don't think these are whips either, but these are Thanksgiving plans. So we talked a couple weeks ago about doing, showing some of the patterns we have for Thanksgiving and some of the things we have kitted up and ready to go and things. But um, and then you did and I didn't. So. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just pulled a couple things that, to me, kind of speak of Thanksgiving. And one of them is the Brenda Gervais kit. Um, and I bought this as a kit, Coming to America, Women of the Mayflower. So, as part of the kit, I don't know, I think you could only buy it as part of the kit yeah. when it came out. You know, it includes, you came know, the box. some back. I didn't know you had the kit. And a corner gauge, some backing fabric for because it also includes a pillow, the 
linen, <coughs> and, um, and then of course the pattern. And several people are working on these. The two patterns that were included, I think is this, I think this might be available separately now. Which one's that? You think? Mm, yeah, I haven't sure. seen it yet. You don't think so? Maybe I mean, maybe. Be, maybe I'm wrong. Um, it has a label for the back of your pattern. It has a needle minder too, and then, then this is of course the pattern. And I, you know, got kind of caught up when everyone was got lots of alphabets these. in it. Yes, <laughs> lots, lots of names. Kind of got caught up in when everyone was buying it, and you know, got my kit, and then I thought, I don't know, this is something that I'm not excited about doing. So I unkitted it. Oh, here's the little needle minder, the little girl needle, little so pilgrim cute. girl needle minder. So I unkit. I thought about selling it, and then I unkitted it, and then I got re-enthused about it. So now I'm in the process you'll be, you'll of want to do it. bringing it out. Well, I love the ships. I love the, I love the history behind it. You mm -hmm. know, these are the women who were on the Mayflower, and so just it's kind of it's kind of. A sad time in history because so many of them died that first winter yeah but you know they persevered and they were the first that's why I think about the pioneers going out west it's like wow watch that 1883 on TV and you know some liked it some didn't but just <laughs> just just the fact that you think about riding on a wagon out west and you would never see you know whoever whatever family you left behind you're not likely to see them again and so yeah, so it's kind of, but but it was They're the first. They're warriors. <laughs> yeah, this was the first colony that was self-sustaining. You know, there was like, you know, ones in Virginia, but they depended on things coming over from England to keep them going. And the pilgrims were expected to just take kind of grow their own food and take care of themselves. And then they kept sending additional people. So it was definitely a um, huge accomplishment and, a, you, you know, huge undertaking and they were successful at it and so oh well, grant was really was. he was very interested in the pilgrims and i couldn't understand why you i thought grant you're you know you want to talk about he's yeah they serve popcorn for their, their first feast oh. <laughs> his favorite food anyway yeah and then we should do this together yeah i, I have i haven't started my i thought i'd start this last year that big blue house that bowl of plant the bowl of fruit this is just so pretty and so i was going to do this on 40 count needle and flax alcott i thought that would be pretty i have the floss i think the floss is just gorgeous i guess i think i have all the floss together unless i pulled it for other projects which you know sometimes i do i keep a spreadsheet so if i need a little something else i'll go pull from you know one of my projects but yeah that blue that blue for the house is so pretty. So Feast of Friendship, to I me, that is a too. very Thanksgiving kind of project. Definitely. So that was one I would like to get done. This is kind of a quirky one, um, but I love Pineberry Lane. And so mm. um, be thankful. Just love those quirky little pilgrim folks and the little deer. And so I'd hope to, hope to get that. Completed a nice fabric. Point. What's the fabric? Um, I don't know. It looks like that might have. This is bad that I don't remember if I bought this as a kit. I don't. Oh. But yeah, so I don't know that it has. I think or if this it is must something... have been a kit. I mean, there's not very much material. No, backing. I don't know. Or maybe I just had this and threw it in from something else. Oh. But um, the linen called for linen is Confederate gray. It could be Confederate gray. It's called. For... I bet it is. 35 or 30, but I bet that's higher than that. <coughs> so, okay. Okay. Got that one, and then one more. Oh, and Prairie Schooler. Love to do Prairie Schooler. Then this is like their fall, kind of a fall I think series. we could have a look parade of just Prairie Schoolers. I guess so. Yeah. Oh, I got a little hint for you. That's if you have a vinyl, a vinyl bag, I had a vinyl bag and it was hot. I had it in the car, unfortunately, and my ink ran on the outside of my vinyl. I tried to take a wet cloth to it and that didn't work. I put a little bit of acetone 
from your fingernails mm-hmm. on a you know a, a damp cloth and just tried it a little bit and boy it came off just like that oh wow so just just kind of a hit uh heloise hits uh you know try it and you know i just stabbed it on the inside there and i and it was gone so just 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 a little hint Okay. Yeah, and I don't know who made this bag. Um, there's no label on it, and I just very nice bag. Yeah, it's very Beautiful. pretty. Yes. I mean, it's the, the very polish colors are just gorgeous. So I'm sorry, I don't remember who did that. I so which find one, that in which one of these are the turkey? <laughs> I've seen several people do that and love it. I know, isn't that fabulous? I love that. That says Thanksgiving on it. So you can do th- that one or that one. I think that one is just like a portion of that. Yeah, just some so, of the leaves not on it. Mm-hmm. And so I have like I have like an empty space I could put that in. So those are kind of my long range Thanksgiving plans. I, would I know. like to start working on at least one of these, but I still have Halloween to finish. Well I've got I'm I'm gonna stick with my hijinks. I didn't bring it today, but uh, that's the Sue Hillis. I think Nightly Stitcher is doing it also. She's Got a lot further along than I do, but I'm going to work on it to where I put a little square in at least a couple, two, three times a week. And then hopefully by Thanksgiving, hopefully by Halloween next year, I might be halfway done. <laughs> That's a big piece. Wow. That's a big piece. I mean, each one of those little squares was 122 stitches. And I th- wow. think uh, wow. it looks great. I. I'm just guessing, but I think there's over 500 blocks in that. Oh, wow. So, and I, I could be exaggerating, but it seems like it. <laughs> it seems like there's a thousand of them, but anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to do a little better just now that we're doing floss tube, be a little bit more responsible and accountable with some of the things that I want to get done and stick with them and not just pull them out. Oh, it's January. I think I'll work on a snowman, you know, yeah. kind of think ahead and I am going to work on my plans as far as I'm going to write out my whips and well that, that, that goes yeah into I want to plans. get better organized next year yeah next year too on some of these I like hearing and I like to hear other people's plans and how they address things and one of the things that I've heard from Olivia Pumpkin Hollow and she said I think this had been suggested by her friend friend Yvette Gonzalez is that when you are working on something dedicate at least five days to it and that makes a lot of sense either five days or a week I think some of people will pull things out I've heard I think Carol Saltbox talks about doing things a week at a time yeah. but that gives you enough time well, usually to make some good progress I mean just in my dancer I mainly between that and the give thanks I mean that's what I worked on these last two weeks and I cannot believe you're almost done I cannot believe how much I got done Nice. Yeah, you know, by and I don't have a lot to show you, but uh, well, that's solid stitching, and but oh, I'm, so, I'm in love with him. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I do have some plans. Okay. Okay. Uh, and of course, I have set this out every Christmas for the last two years. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do I it. It's like that design. I know. So. Uh, who is this? Abby Rose. Abby Rose. Merry Christmas. I just think that is so, so beautiful. So that's that's definitely. I you I made this bag. Oh, it's beautiful. I, it started as a fifteen by fifteen. It's now like an eight by seven. But I did make it. I did it all by myself, and I even even I have it lined. So wow. um, I was thinking that what a pretty bag that it's is. It's a little cockeyed. But uh, you can't tell. Well, I mean, I and think then we're I hard even, on ourselves. I know we are hard, and I even made a little one. So um, this this part's upside down, but you know you got to start somewhere. But I did do it. I blew out my candle. Maybe it was my can. Do you think it's my was my candle bothering you? No, I no I I, I don't know. <clears throat> I always burn. I like to burn candles in the fall. I do too. I, I have candles just burning. Love those fall and winter. I just love the sense of the season. And this is a fun bag. I I don't oh. have a name to where it came from either, 
But look at that. I love bags. I do too. So that's the back. I and just that's love so bags. cute. That panel fabric is Isn't so cute. cute. Here's another one that I've had at least two years in my pile. Alphabets. Yay. Yay. And you know why I haven't started it? I don't know. I have the fabric. I have the floss. I have the ticking. Oh, do you? Yep. I was going to ask I've you if you were going to finish I, it that way. Yep. I, I, I just think it's too cute. So, mm -hmm. I've ticking. I think I'll tea dye it a little bit. Oh, you talk about the colors. That, uh, maybe the, is the orange just his belt? Or maybe the, probably the, snow, you know, it's probably so, the snowman. I know. It's probably, it's probably I bought, a, I bought a, <laughs> a skein of... Well, that's a good orange. I mean, it's... Anyway, you'll use it, but yeah, but it's probably four stitches for the nose on the <laughs> on the air belt. Oh, yep. There's a little, that little snowman. I bet it's his little. I bet it's his little tiny nose, right there. Yeah. And I bought the whole skate. <laughs> you are set though. I mean, but if it says it says to buy it, mm -hmm. I buy it. Okay. I think now there's some patterns, and I don't know if Brenda does this, but. Some patterns will make a note if there's something that just needs a few stitches, they will make a note of that so people are not necessarily going out and buying the whole skein for just a few little stitches. All right. Love Barbara Anna. Mm -hmm. Look at those scissors. In the snow. Let it snow. Oh, I just love that. The little girl with the little... She's so cute. Oh, I love her little hat and braids. Oh. I love how she mm -hmm. always adds. Is there a key on there? I was just thinking that. I, was I don't see that, a key on that. No, one. but she has it's like those scissors. scissors hanging, kind of like they look like keys. Yeah. And that's kind of like a key motif on the edge of the scissors. Yeah. Because I was looking at Dancer. I don't have He's his, got the keys on But he's got ears. the keys on it. I wonder what the. I wonder if there's a meaning behind that. Like I don't know. That, I bet she's just the motif she enjoys incorporating. That's like a trademark motif. So it's all kitted and ready to go. I think the only thing I have left is I don't know. Oh, my so my plans are like I mentioned. I want to continue to work on um, Caroline Amelia Trowell. I want to work on finishing my tree and doing my other tree. And then um, I have the two ornaments I need to work on. And then I also want to get back to Jane Baxter. And then I have, I was getting close to finishing my motifs on my Barbara Anna October 31st piece. And even though Halloween has passed, I don't want to be dragging that out again next year. I want to have it ready to display. So I think I'd like to, yeah. oh. I'm hoping to finish that this month too, or, or get my last motif done and be to the part where I just need to do the alphabet. And then I still have a couple of, uh, well, uh, the Blackbird uh, Midnight Watch. Oh yeah. You know, I'm not going to stop on it just because Halloween's over. It may take a little sidestep. Till after the holidays, but I mean, yeah, that's not going to be my main piece that right. I work on. But I did want to show. Uh, I love that design. Uh, Corchetta, Corchetta Go Go. It's her advent. Oh boy! Oh, try to move it up. Aren't they boy, beautiful? That's a lot of DMCs for that. I, I look at that list. <laughs> look at that floss list. I don't know. I should. <laughs> I should. Oh, oh. look. Uh, oh. Ta-da! <laughs> They're in here. That is a big piece. 367. Ah. Here's my... Whoops. Ooh. I thought they were all attached. I guess not. Okay. I Oh, I did get some done. Oh, those are bright. But yeah, that's really like... A lot of red. A lot okay. of red and white. There's a star. Must be a candy cane. I think I... I think I was going to make a simple ornament out of it, but uh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll make it into an advent. It looks like an awful lot of stitching, but I might pick out a couple to. Uh, well, and I mean, even the 
on the bottom here, the reindeer, that little reindeer motif. That would be cute as a little pillow, or I wonder if you could make a drum out of that. Very cute. With Santa. Oh. And then uh, two those, more. I mean, you could do all of those separately as ornaments. That's what I said. Or, or, or you pillows. could do, like, a. this would be pretty as a drum. Yeah, that's, yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, ho, ho, ho. That's yeah. so cute. Uh, I showed you this last week, I think. Um, this is one of the Dur Doreen Jones. This is one of the new uh, designers, and I did see that she had quite a few on Etsy. Uh, probably not going to do the black mustache, but probably, <laughs> probably put it back to white. But I love the border. I love the snowman. I love his legs. I love the reindeer. I love everything about this. So that's that looks like a Lenny. That looks like does that a look Linny like a Lenny? And then I got a new bag from Ragtag. Rectag quilts. Oh. Doreen, it's Doreen Jones. Okay, I wrote it down as Corrine. Doreen. That's not yeah. So, a PDF. Oh, okay. Last one uh, the, the, of my goals, and we'll see what what happens. And I, I I'm pretty sure I showed you this too, but this came from Al Forest Embroidery, and uh, New Year Sampler. And this is going to be my New Year's start. Even though it's got sand on it. But I figured it's going to take me a year, to, a year to do it. And I got 25 count parchment. And I'm just doing it in DMC. Sorry, I don't even have them. But they're going to be really bright. I think. So... The patterns, I, I like, that's a question we could ask one time is, do you like color pat patterns or black and white patterns? Mm -hmm. um, there was, I think, was it at Stitch Group, people were discussing that, and some people like the black and white and some like the color. I kind of think the color is nice. I like the color. It kind of lets me know that I need to change colors in <laughs> case I get, get stuck. But I thought this parchment paper would, mm -hmm. fabric would... I thought it would match the the front. Yeah, it looks very close. So close. So that's probably my next big and that's focus. That's a nice. Is that the original size of no? Or did you enlarge it? No, no. That's the way it came. That's really nice yeah. and large. So you can't show it, but I mean, it's like. Yeah. But believe me, it is it's nice, really, large, and easy to read. These eyeballs are going to be <laughs> able to see them. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! Yay! Haul. Oh, haul. Oh, gosh, I have one more sack sitting over here. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you have haul? I just have my okay. sampler. Uh, what about a little primrose? These are so cute. Um, ginger, you know, gingerbread girl here. Gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes. So... That shouldn't take too long to do. Got another book from JBW. Oh, I love uh, her things. This is book two. I think I have book three. Two and three, so I need one and four. Okay. Uh, this is another crochetta. That's amazing that you can have so many different designs for so, one holiday. Yeah. But it's just, oh, I know. And they all have and a little nice. Something. They're nice if you wanted to take something on traveling. They're nice because they have like limited colors that you would have to take with you. Some of them have more than others, depending on what you do. But a lot of them are just like one or two colors. You could. So you could do a whole bunch of those. But I like those. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they, yeah, cute finishing ideas. I like this Christmas green chic. <laughs> no, that's not the name of it. Oh yeah, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so. Six new ornaments from uh, Crochetta Gogo. -Go. And those the cloth colors are really pretty. So there's my floss colors. And I'm, I'm just using my neutrals that I use normally. These tags. <laughs> when you say neutrals, you mean for uh, the linen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, it may not be called for, but it would mm -hmm. be what I have. <laughs> These tags were actually to and from tags from Christmas oh. from last year. So we just had the, the to and from. That's a cute from idea. The back. So I just punched a hole at the bottom and a hole at the top and made some Christmas floss tags, some bling. So easy peasy. All right. Surely. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, I didn't even open this up. I ordered this from Chantel uh, 141 because it was just so cute. Don't know what I put on it yet. Pop, I'm sure, an ornament. But, mm -hmm. so I ordered the blank sled. So I think this is going to turn out really cute. So do you have something in mind for that already? Not particularly, but it could be... One of those would be cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I do, like, if I did, didn't do it in a pillow, you know, they they would fit perfect on a sled. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure. I showed you this last week. And, uh... I just love his skinny little I legs. Just, I just, again... holding the stocking. All the little motifs on the border are really cute really set it off nicely i um, love his legs <laughs> I know, aren't those funny uh i know it was the end and i but i couldn't help it um midnight ride he's definitely going to the stash for next year another bird another bird um uh, primrose cottage Christmas rules. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this. I'm late to the party, but when did that? I wonder when that came out. See a year on that. That ginger did one that was something about Christmas rules. I think she might have done it I for think, her daughter. Yeah, I was think that was silver. One? Oh, it might have been silver. Silver Creek. Creek. Okay. I like. Yeah. This one kind of came as a kit. It came with some floss and oh, some wow. needles. 21. 21. So that's just last year. Okay. Not too bad. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, oh, here's my other book. And well, there's the floss that came with it. And another JBW book. I knew I had. So it's two and three. I had. That's right. Two and three. And my last one, which I showed you again, but I finally got all the flosses and everything oh, for it, is, is yes. uh, the Blackbird Merry Christmas. And those are my winter plans. And if I got those all done, <laughs> I'll work on my other stuff. <laughs> but lots of jolly plans. I know it. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm expecting 12 feet of snow. So <laughs> I stay at my house and I don't do anything. But... It was pretty. We had actually woke up to snow yesterday when we were in Illinois, which I don't think we kind of looked at the forecast, you know, before we went. We knew it was going to be cold, but we weren't expecting snow, so that was kind of a, that's kind of cool. It was. I mean, it's is that a pun? It's a feeling. <laughs> I, I mean, oh, it was cold. <laughs> it's not cool. It's cold. Dummy. <laughs> Oh, I'm just giving you a hard time. I, 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 floss oh, I have a joke for you. Oh. Um, what side of the turkey has more feathers? I don't know. The outside. Uh, <laughs> where do you find these? Uh, if the pilgrims traveled on the May, oh, excuse me, if the pilgrims travel on the Mayflower. What do college students travel on? I don't know. Scholarships. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll say one more when we're done. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Yeah, so one of my goals when I go to these antique shows is they usually have several vendors that have um, nice samplers that usually are within my price range. And I will probably insert some photos from the samplers, some of the samplers that I saw that did not obviously end up getting, but one that caught my eye at the show that we go to on Friday night at the Best Western is this one. And I thought it was probably a Scottish sampler, and I thought that because of 
because of um, having the opportunity to attend virtual guild meetings and one of the talks I heard through the Tudor Rose Sampler Guild was about Scottish samplers and so some of the identifying things are the way the A's are formed and I'm getting a lot of like I just need a lot of reflection there maybe that's better the way the A's are formed Scottish samplers tend to use a lot of red and green I don't know if this is actually a thistle but that kind of looks like a thistle to me um, is this, so obviously there's a lot of fading. I'm not going to take it out of the frame to see what color this originally was, but the, the um, saying here is really faded, but it's one of the ones that's, I think it's probably the most used sampler saying, and it's the one about, Jesus permit thy gracious name to stand as the first efforts of in, an infant's hand and while her fingers on this canvas move, engage her tender heart to seek. Wow. Thy, to seek thy love. I missed that part down there. So I can see a lot better today than I could um, at the show. But you don't have the good lighting. But it has two crowns down here. So that also kind of tells you that it's probably... I love the green. Pretty, I love the red. It's really a pretty border. I mean, it's, in, it's not in very good shape. It looks like a little thread or something there. And I think it might be a vanity sampler because the names on here are Frit. There's Frit on both sides mm -hmm. here. Up here, it's Blackstock. It says William, this Blackstock. And then Janet Steele. I'm having trouble. And then William Blackstock. And down here, it says Mrs. It looks like Mrs. Jenkins. A lot of names and initials There's, on it. And that is, you know, kind of think that's typical of Scottish samplers too, is they really have a lot of information about the genealogy. But at the very bottom, it looks like it says, um, I'm trying to, I can't read the initials, something black and then aged, and I don't have a year. Looks so like the I year's been picked out. It looks like they picked out the age or something, or the year or something. So, um, 1800s, I would guess. I don't know exactly when in the 1800s, but I like the house. I like the trees. Very, Like I said, very pretty border. Um, and we think the frame might be original, too, yeah, or, cut, or cut wood. down. Yeah, it might be a cut down frame because I can see it's not, the sampler isn't stretched. You can kind of see the edges there, but it is framed very tight. And, it, and oh, and has peacocks, has peacocks. I'm kind of flipping this around. Peacocks and floral motifs. Some little dogs. The house. The house. The house, I like that. I don't think I have any samplers that have a house. I have one that has like a temple on it. Um, that made me feel good because... I, you know, I saw this, I came around after I looked at all the samplers and was going to get this one and had her take it off the wall and she's, you know, telling me what she knows about it. And then as she, you know, I said, well, I'll take it. And there was another man standing <laughs> there and she turned, the dealer turned to her and said, well, she's taking it. So I had asked him, you know, what appealed to him, and he said the colors in the house was a really strong detail. I don't know if he was a dealer as well, but um, it always makes you feel good when someone else appreciates what you're buying, and he thought I got it for a, a good price. So that one, I mean, it sounds, I'll probably put it in my laundry room because I have another old sampler in there, and I pass through my laundry room to, you know, go out the garage door, so it's so something I'll see. see. So, oh, I thought okay. you were going to tell me because you did a lot of laundry. Yeah. <laughs> she always has the cleanest clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay. Anything else or just giveaways? Um, I had that. Oh, well, oh, we have to. Oh, oh, we have to. But we don't have to. All the names. Okay. Yeah. So. We're ready. We want to thank you for all the comments that you did on the Santas and the snowmen. Uh, the plaid moose was such a fun company to work with and yes uh, I, I, yeah and Lenny's ordered from this um, vendor before and I you know I was kind of looking at other 
you know, carvers on Etsy, and I this is I think this is unique that they do the little the little antique spools. I and, think so, and each one of them, I don't know how you can carve them to make them all look like such a different personality, but I think they're just adorable. They're, and you know what this would be cute at? There was a lot of antique. Um, they're not feather trees. What are the bottle brush trees? Oh, bottle brush a trees. Bottle yeah, brush uh, tree absolutely. And that as a base. That yeah. would be really a cute thing for that. that. But um, anyway, please go check them out. They're uh, absolutely lovely to work with and very cute product. And then what we are going to do is we don't have them here personally. So when we draw the winners, um, I will contact the plaid moose and they will send them directly to you. So it will come from the sable stitchers. It will come from the plaid moose. And that's how we're going to work that out. And I think they're in Canada. Are they in Canada? I don't know. Okay. I, I had the card with me and I didn't pick it up. So, um, but I will contact you. They'll probably contact me when they ship them out and then I can forward to you, but it will come from them. Okay. The winner of the snowman da, 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 is Ellen Matoba. M-A-T-O-B-A. -A. Oh, you can read my writing. I can. It's, <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> and then the winner of our Santa. <laughs> I say that. You say Patricia. That. I thought it was Patrice. <laughs> I think it's Patricia. Patricia Gerard. Mm -hmm. G I R A R D. Yep. So, so yep. Patricia for the Santa and Ellen for the Snowman. So I'll have my email address below if you or did you want to put your nope. email? Okay, I'll put my email address below, and when you let me know you're the winner, I'll forward it to Linny, and she will let the Bland Moose know. And like she said, they will direct it. They will send this directly to you. And then I guess I had another announcement. I forgot. To oh yeah, I did want to say anything. Um, I did have a question from Monica. She's going to a retreat for the very first time, and she had asked what to bring to a retreat. And I know we've talked about this before, but it, it I don't think you never say it enough because there's new people going all the time, and there's so many retreats that are out there right now. As we all know, that there's one almost every weekend. But do uh, you want to go through kind of what? Well, basic sewing supplies are always good. You know, your needles, you know, some... Some floss. Um, extra needles. Yeah, extra needles, you know, your sewing hoop, a light. Most places do have a place where you can plug in a light. So, And even if you don't use your light at the retreat, if you sew back in your room, if you sew, come out into like a stitching room and sew, you might need it. Especially then, I would say you might need an extra light to be able to see what you're working on. Especially when you're sewing at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then... I, you know, I, I think I always take too many projects. I think, well, I might work on this, I might work on that. And usually the designers and the ones, the retreats I've been to don't care if you want to continue to work on what you brought and save their project for when you get home and want to start it there. But some people choose to start on the project there. Some people keep working on whatever they brought to work on. So um, those are a few basics. Kind of what you do at home be the same thing of what you would do at a retreat something that i have found that works for me really well is because i'm always losing my scissors always i wear a lanyard and it's long and then my scissors stick on the bottom of it that's a good tip and i love a lanyard with a scissors on it and you can put a little cute bling or something on it but it's just like it's always here i mean because I'm constantly, even sewing on the couch, you know, they'll fall down. Well, you know, <laughs> all my stories, everything falls through the couch. But if you have it around your neck, it, you're, it's not going to fall through the couch. So I have learned to use a lanyard with scissors on the end of it. So as a matter of fact, I went into the grocery store and I forgot to take my scissors off. And, and somebody, <laughs> somebody asked me, it's like, is that you know, like mace or, you know, or something to carry your scissors around. I go, no, I cross-stitched and I just forgot to take my scissors off. But uh, that's funny. I know. I th thought it was a weapon. I said, those little bitty things, I can't do any harm. But, uh, but anyway, that's a, a, a good trick. 
Uh, That's also good if you're traveling, if you're on a plane or something, because then otherwise you have to keep putting it in your bag, you know, and then digging it back out when you need them. So that's a good idea. I hadn't thought about it. So I think basic, whatever you sew with at home is kind of what you want to take to retreat. Mm -hmm. An extra would be lighting. Maybe if you, if you have a portable light, just because lighting isn't always good in the room. And like Roberta said, if you sew in your hotel room late at night extra light a couple pairs of scissors a few needles um one other thing that i found useful i've started to take is chocolate extra bags yeah <laughs> just like the extra like a couple extra um project bags and then when you get the projects sometimes they come in their own project bags sometimes they don't but that way i can keep them all together mm -hmm. so just to that's be a good idea just to be organized that's what i've been doing a sweater Right. Sometimes, yeah. it's, sometimes it's kind of chilly in a hotel or a big convention center. But, you know, I think that's pretty much it. Just kind of a don't bring too many projects. I would suggest that the most. I think the first retreat I went to, I brought 10 projects and probably didn't even work on one because I worked on the projects that they had. And anyway... Okay. That you were prepared. So Yes. Better to be safe than sorry. So I don't have the date in front of me, but I think our I, th I think our next filming will actually be the first if we go back to our Friday schedule. I think it's be, the first of December. Mm -hmm. Well, because sure. it will be after Thanksgiving. because yeah. um, just there's just too much to do leading up to Thanksgiving and seeing family and things and so um, so I just want to make one more announcement. Um, we had some very happy news. We have a new grandbaby on the way at the end of March. And so it's um, <laughs> I'm so very, excited. very happy news. We thought we thought we would have a grandbaby before now and it just didn't happen. And so we have been kind of holding our breath to make sure everything is okay with, with um, our second grandbaby. And it looks good. It looks like it could be a little boy. And Oh, I'm so excited. So, they're very, very happy about that. And oh, so, congratulations. Something that, you know, we're we're looking forward to in 2023. But oh. um, so Lydia and I want to thank you for viewing. Um, if you don't, if you like our videos, if you don't mind clicking that like button and clicking the subscribe and the notification so you know when we have a new video up. Usually we've been filming about every two weeks, depending on our schedule. Um, this will be almost about uh, closer to three weeks. And um, if you'd like to comment, um, we don't have a giveaway this video, but we would love to hear when you start your Christmas decorating or when do you put up your Christmas tree? Are you one of the people that out with the Halloween, up with Christmas? Or, you know, I have a turkey collection, so I have like three or four weeks I like to have my turkeys out, but I will start probably, I'll probably put up at least I have a tree in our front window and then I have another tree that you know and that's just like a skinny tree just so that people can see a tree from the front of our house and then our main tree will be either probably downstairs in the family room because that's where we spend most of our time so I'd like to enjoy that well I decorated for fall and I do a fall tree and it's it's really pretty but I I love fall. I love the oranges and the browns. And oh, I've got a oh, I, I you're did, Dutch. I did buy a I bought, I bought a new piece of furniture. It's an old piece of Very furniture. Very nice. It's so um, pretty. Maybe we'll put it in the pictures. Um, yep. When we show up, but I had gone to an antique store last week, and when we moved from our house, we had a lot of beautiful furniture, and you know there just wasn't enough room, and the hutch was probably my most favorite piece of furniture and I've missed mm -hmm. I've missed having a hutch I miss decorating the hutch I just well anyway when we went to this antique store they had a baby hutch and which is what I just call like a half a hutch <laughs> but it's got two glass windows a hutch, a hutch, out. A hutch out. <laughs> <laughs> and glass windows and a drawer and two cabinets underneath and then a, a nice shelf so I can't wait to share because I've missed a hutch for for so long and, uh, yep, you didn't waste any time getting it decorated. So. No, as a matter of fact, I I brought it home and I had I took a picture of it in the store. I brought it home, decorated it, sent the picture to the antique dealer, oh. 
And she oh, said I she they were so thrilled. She was so happy because she says, you know, once peace leaves, you never know what what they do with it. So she she was really tickled that. Oh, that I sent nice. a picture back so she could see what we did with it. But that's my new hatchet. <laughs> so, and again, Very I want to thank everybody for such a, I just feel so blessed and so grateful and thankful for all of you out there and all that. An opportunity to get to know, you know, oh, some more stitchers and just I love talking hear a little to bit you about all. your lives and. Yeah. What you're working on and what you get excited about. Yeah, it's just so, so much fun thank to you. share that. So, oh, yes. oh, oh, I have one more joke. Oh, one more joke. One more joke. Um, go out on a happy okay. note here. What, what did the turkey say to the goo? What did the turkey <laughs> say to the computer? <laughs> what did the turkey say to the computer? I don't know. Google, Google. <laughs> oh. Bye. Goodbye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>